To start off, I know that everyone woke up this morning asking yourself the question, how do I become stronger? How do I become better at my workout? And you might ask, you might be thinking that it's actually very difficult because when you walk into the gym, it's a giant place, right? It has machines over here. It has all this equipment on this other side. And you see people doing these very complex, different types of exercises. You get really confused. You go up to the front desk. They say, we'll give you a trainer. It only costs $50 an hour. And you go, okay, that sounds great. But it seems just like a little bit of a steep price to pay to start building strength. I'm here to tell you that all that other equipment is honestly not important. Instead, there's only one piece of equipment that will let you build strength and become a stronger person, as well as so many other beneficial factors. And that one piece of equipment is this right here. Can everybody see that? Can I get some thumbs up? Cool. The barbell. Very simple, right? This is not a piece of equipment that is complex to make. It's a big metal bar with a bunch of weight on both sides and you lock it in place. What do you do with it? You just lift it off the ground. That's it. Pretty straightforward. And my interest with strength training and barbell lifting came when I read this book. And it's a big, thick book by Mark Ripto and one of the best books on strength training, it's hard to see because it's reflected, but Starting Strength by Mark Ripto. And it began my journey of better understanding barbell lifting and strength training. And I want to tell you all today that this type of exercise is for everybody. It is relatively simple to do and not complex at all. And it's one of the healthiest ways to build muscle and become a better and stronger person. So to begin, most people think of strength training and lifting weights as being big, muscly guys that stare at themselves in the mirror. Oh, sorry. But that's what most people think, and this is not true. In fact, lifting weights can be done by anybody. You don't have to be strong. You don't have to be a guy. You don't have to be young. You can be an old woman who has never lifted in their life, and that's totally fine. And in fact, I'd recommend it because when you're lifting weights, you're actually going to be targeting your entire body and building muscle. And that's the best thing that you can do. Yes, there are some stereotypes with it, but I really implore you to push those stereotypes out of your mind and really think about barbells as just a very great way to build strength instead. And then I also want to talk on some of the exercises. When you do go to the gym, you might be thinking, wow, there are so many different equipment and so much stuff to do. And usually you'll kind of just pick one and kind of play around with it. And nothing really feels like you've been, you haven't really accomplished anything at the end of the day. But with barbell training, there's only three exercises that will target every single muscle group in your body that's important. The first one is going to be the squat. And yes, Nobody likes doing the squats, but they're really, really good for you. And now everybody can kind of laugh at me as I demonstrate these exercises, but basically you take the barbell and it's going to be sitting right here with the weight on it. You're going to go under it and get the weight on your back. You're actually going to flex a little bit to keep it on your, uh, your shoulders and not your neck. You're going to take the weight off. You're then going to get in position and then you squat just like that. And it's great because the squat is going to target all of your leg muscles and your back. So that's the best part about the squat. And yes, it's going to feel really tiring because you're using so many muscle groups, but it's one of the best exercises to develop that lower body strength. And then the next exercise is going to be the press. And that's where you're laying down and you're pushing the weight up like this. That's the press. I'm sure you've seen this before many times. This is mostly everyone's favorite exercise because it targets all those nice muscles that look good when you're out in public, you know, just like your chest, your arms, you know, things like that. So you look really good on the front. This typically is a pretty hard exercise though, uh, because you're using so many muscles up in your chest group, which aren't very big. So typically the weight that you're going to be pushing is a lot less, but again, it is one of the most 
preferred exercises in terms of barbell lifting because it does target so many muscles that look nice in front of other people. The last one is going to be the deadlift. And this one's pretty straightforward. Deadlift really just means that you're lifting as much weight on the floor and then up. So typically you'll have your barbell and your weight on the floor. You're going to go down here, keep your back nice and straight. You're gonna make sure your chest is up, grab the weight and then lift it up. And then when you're done, you drop it. Pretty straightforward. I personally think this one is the hardest exercise for me to do because you're engaging your entire body. You're using your legs, you're using your back, you're using your arms, and you have to make sure that you have a nice grip on the barbell or else it's going to slip and fall. All of those three exercises, so just three, that's all it is. You'll be able to work out your entire body and build muscle. Now, the last thing I want to talk about before I end my speech is that barbell lifting is probably one of the most safe and the most healthy ways to build strength and become a stronger person. All these other types of equipments are going to isolate muscles in your body, which is great if you know what you're doing. If you don't and you're just using these exercise equipment and you're targeting muscles by themselves and not strengthening other parts of your body to create balance, you're going to end up becoming injured. There's nothing like seeing a guy who has very tiny legs and really big arms walk into the gym. He looks kind of silly and he's also going to probably hurt himself. The plus side with barbell training is that you have to work out your entire body in order to do all three exercises. So you're not going to find imbalance. I have now been lifting for about a year or so, and I've seen some tremendous progress. One thing that I really think is the most beneficial thing is that I used to have shoulder pain a lot. I actually pinched a nerve about a couple of years ago. And so there would be some days where I woke up and it'd be an immense pain. But after working my shoulders correctly with barbell training, I was able to remove any pain and I feel fantastic. So I implore you the next time that you want to start a new exercise routine, that at least you think for a moment and instead of going to the other equipment, you pick up one single barbell. Thank you.